Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Steph. It's lovely to see your beautiful faces today. We're going to be reacting to the Hobbit series, starting with an unexpected journey. As of right now, I know that it's been taking place, I believe 60 years before Lord of the Rings, and I know we're gonna be getting a lot more background on Bilbo. So I know Gandalf's in it, because if you guys were on my stream the other day, I was talking about how that movie popped up randomly while I was out. But we're gonna be watching that today. And if you would love to see the entire reaction or early access for my reactions or access to my Discord, movie nights, game nights, and polls and all that fun stuff, you can head over to my Patreon. And I guess let's just get started. Honestly, don't know what to expect for this at all. Like, I know it's a background of Bilbo and just a little bit before Lord of the Rings, but it's still interesting to see where they go with it. Especially because I think you guys were saying it was only one book. My dear Frodo. Is that Bilbo? I think it is time for you to know what really happened. Oh, okay. So it's really going in depth. And there was the city of Dale. Its markets known far and wide. I found a shirt that has the map of Middle Earth. <laughs> Can we get it? Built deep within the mountain itself. The beauty of this fortress city was legend. That's crazy. That's a whole city. The heart of the mountain, the Arkenstone. The Arkenstone. He took it as a sign, a sign that his right to rule was divine. Wait, they took it out and put it in the- they made that chair with it? It is sad, Frodo, how old alliances can be broken, how friendships between peoples can be lost. And this has nothing to do with the ring, this is just based off of the wonders that they found. Sound the alarm! Call out the guard, do it now! Dragon! They knew it was a dragon? For dragons covered gold with a dark and fierce desire. The stone? So that's all it came for was for a dragon will guard his plunder as long as he lives. I guess so, yeah. Once it's not a stone. Oof. Thrandril would not risk the lives of his kin. No help came from the elves that day. They just stood there and watched. And that, my dear Frodo. That's Bilbo. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. A warm hearth. And all the comforts of home. I love seeing him. <laughs> How old was Frodo in Lord of the Rings then? Out of curiosity, I don't know if it was said, but... What's this? That is private. He's writing it for him. What on earth are you doing? <laughs> Taking precautions. Hiding it? I have a question. When is this placed right now? Like, what time Make frame? Sure you keep an eye on her after I'm... Because Bilbo obviously isn't young, so this has to be somewhere around before Lord of the Rings, but just not years, right? Is it Bilbo's birthday party? He's farthing woods. I'm going to surprise him. Well, go on then. It's clicking to that because the intro to Lord of the Rings, he was reading. He was reading in the woods. But I'm Gandalf. And Gandalf means me. <laughs> nice. And where else should I be? <laughs> Any adventures here? Thank you. Not today. Not it's interesting to see how different he is from when he was younger than Good morning. the way he was 60 years later. I don't know if that was supposed to be an F or something else. He said there'd be food. He, he said. Who said? Is it just him? I thought it'd be like a bunch of them or something. I wasn't expecting company. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. That'll be the door. Unless it's Gandalf. Good evening. Balin. Yes, yes, it is. Oh! <laughs> evening, brother. <laughs> oh. I'm so confused. I don't mean to be blunt, but I, uh, but I had to speak my mind. I'm you sorry. Think? Apology accepted. <laughs> so confused. Can no, nothing's been cancelled. Oh, that's a relief. Careful with these. But just had them sharpened. That's my mother's glory box. Can you please not do that? I would be 
Get Very them. upset. <laughs> Everyone, break. how many more are there? Lift it. Where do you want this? Oh my gosh, no. It is in very poor taste. Oh, they're all, oh, they're all doing like dinner. <laughs> hey, he did that in the first movie. Uh, 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 <laughs> Pissed. He says we'll blunt the knives. Blunt the knives. Are they about to sing? That's what Bilbo Baggins hates. Cut the clock. He is here. He. He looks more like a grocer than a burglar. Gandalf. <laughs> is Dean with us? They will not come. So they're all rounding up to, I'm assuming, some sort of quest. Is ours. Quest. And ours alone. But some sort of fight. Extremely fond of precious metals. Yes, I know what a dragon is. I'm not afraid. I'm up for it. That's what they have to defeat. We have a wizard in our company. Gandalf will have killed hundreds of dragons in his time. Well, how many dragons have you killed? Oh no. <laughs> if there is a key, there must be a door. But why Bilbo? That's why we need a burglar. An expert, I'd imagine. And are you? <laughs> Hobbits are remarkably light on their feet. In fact, they can pass unseen by most if they choose. Oh, okay. I was gonna I was getting confused as to why he was just automatically applying it to him. We'll do it your way. No, no. Give him no. a contract. Warren, please. We're off. It's just the usual summary of out of pocket expenses. Time required. <laughs> out of pocket expenses. <laughs> You shall not be liable for injuries inflicted by or sustained as a consequence thereof, including but not limited to... Including but not limited to... Evisceration. Incineration. Oh, I am at the flesh off your bones in the blink oh. of an eye. He's a good actor. Sorry, Gandalf, I can't sign this. Hmm. You've got the wrong hobbit. Aww. Old warriors. I would take each and every one of these dwarves over an army from the Iron Hills. Mm. For when I called upon them, they answered. <laughs> Loyalty. Honor. A willing heart. That's a warrior. Then we are with you, laddie. We will see it done. The word laddie really sealed it up, you know? <laughs> the misty... Ugh. I love the, um... I love the little music parts that they put. The, the harmonies. <laughs> and Bilbo's just listening to all of all of this. Looking for them. <laughs> Hello. So then I get curious, they just left without him. You know what they say. It sounds too good to be true. <laughs> Oh, you found them. Oh, they took wages on whether or not you'd turn up. Most of them bet that you wouldn't. And what did you think? <laughs> My dear fellow, <laughs> I never doubted you for a second. Stop! We have to turn around. What on earth is the matter? Allard. Oh. <laughs> Use this. You were born to the rolling hills and little rivers of the Shire. But home is now behind you. And so it begins. <laughs> what was that? Orcs. Throat cutters. There'll be dozens of them out there. In the wee small hours when everyone's asleep. Quick and quiet, no screams. Just lots of blood. I don't even think that they were... That they would be there. <laughs> You think that's funny? You think a night raid by orcs is a joke? We didn't mean anything by it. King Thror tried to reclaim the ancient dwarf kingdom of Moria, but our enemy had got there first. There it is. Led by the most vile Azok. Azok? By beheading the king. That is when I saw him, a young dwarf prince. 
wielding nothing but an oaken branch as a shield. Azog, the Defiler, learned that day. It's all of them. Our forces rallied and drove the orcs back. But there was no feast. We few had survived. There is one who I could follow. There is one I could call king. The whole scene was just quiet. <laughs> Five of us. The greatest of our order is Saruman, the White. Huh. You know, I've quite forgotten their names. And who is the fifth? Radagast, the Brown. Two blues, one grey, one white, one brown. <laughs> Sebastian. Good gracious. Not the animals, please. Move back, give them some air, for goodness sake. No way, no. It's not as if it's witchcraft. Witchcraft. I love the color of his eyes. Why isn't he moving? No, it's not. Not the porcupine. No time, no time. I couldn't tell what he was doing. That's not what we think it is, right? No. Where did those foul creatures come from? Follow, follow them. The old fortress. Oh. Show me. <laughs> that, that's cool. Is this also in New Zealand? Curiosity. We could make for the hidden valley. Not go near that place. Why not? The elves could help us. We could get food, rest. I did not give you that map and key for you to hold on to the past. I did not know that they were yours to keep. Hmm. Gandalf, where are you going? Seek the company of the only one around here who's got any sense. But who's that? Myself! <laughs> he does as he chooses. Here, here's a favor. Take this to the lads. Pretty night time. I don't, I'm, I don't want to be in fear that something's about to happen. Oh. Uh, Oh, the orcs. What is it? Trolls. Oh, oh well. I think someone explained to me in the Lord of the Rings that those are simultaneously the same. Correct? Oh, just kidding. Oh, just kidding. What is the what is the correct simultaneous word for orcs? Orcs and something else. If you run into trouble, who twice like a barn owl, once like a brown owl, twice like a barn owl. He has to go out of all the people that. These ain't sheep. These is West Nag. There's three. But they can... But they can talk. The mountain trolls. Oh my gosh. They're gonna... See? <laughs> Everything tastes like chicken. Except the chicken. Oh no way he's gonna take that off. <gasps> Just need to sprinkle it. That was my question. In Lord of the Rings, the trolls don't talk. Uh, but I know these are mountain trolls. Is there a difference as to why they're able to speak? Flesh. I need flesh. <laughs> oh, blimey! Oh. What, what's come out of me, Uta? It's got arms and legs and everything. What is it? He's lying. No, I'm not. Hold his toes over the fire. <laughs> Drop him. <laughs> this is this is a whole different spoke too soon. Is he grabbing? <laughs> What if they run away? What if they... Hmm. 
Who now they're angry? Lie down your arms. Or we'll whip his off. Oh my gosh. Don't bother cooking him. Wait! You are making a terrible mistake. You can't reason with them, they're half wits! <laughs> <laughs> Get me filleting knife. I'll skin you. I've eaten plenty with their skins on. Scoff for my say, boots and all. Oh my gosh, Gandalf, I forgot. Right, you. Oh my gosh. Oh. I've got parasites as big as my arm. One of the biggest. <laughs> They're so. The dawn will take you all. Who's that? No idea. Can we eat him too? The stone. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Where did you go to, if I may ask? To look ahead. What brought you back? Looking behind. Ooh. Still you're all in one piece. No thanks to your burglar. He had the nouse to play for time. Mm -hmm. None of the rest of you thought of that. They must have come down from the Etten Moors. Since when do mountain trolls venture this far south? Oh, ooh, not for an age. Not since a darker power ruled these lands. Seems a shame just to leave it lying around. Why would trolls want that? Anyone could take it. We're making a long-term deposit. Come on, let's go. Both are going nori. Okay, now I'm assuming that they want to leave. Why did he look at it like that? Oh. Yeah. This is about your... Something small, yeah. I can't take this. Blade is of elvish make, which means glow blue when orcs or goblins are nearby. So is it every every weapon that they make it turns blue, or is it just swords in particular that they make it do that? Something's coming. Oh, again, orcs. Oh. <laughs> They meet each other. Or well, not meet, but meet again. <laughs> I don't know the history. Just give me a minute. Um, I was gonna say, is he forgetful? I followed their trail. They came from Dol Guldur. Even in, Guldur. even here, there's just so many names that you is would have to recall. Not anymore. It is the shadow of an ancient horror. You gotta be kidding me. There's no one. <laughs> a necromancer. Come. If you wear headphones in this, if you wear headphones in that scene, it's just a bunch of whispers on both sides. Yeah, a necromancer. Are you sure? Oh, and he brought the sword. You know, I think it's hardest because after I watched Lord of the Rings, the of the and then starting this, there's so many things to connect it to. Even though I know it's not, it's not the exact same thing as it was. was. That a wolf? Are there, are there wolves out there? Or as it is in Lord of the Rings. Isn't that... Isn't that part of the orcs? Don't the orcs ride those? Who did you kill? No one, I swear. What in Dorna's name is going on? You are being hunted. We can't! Oh, that was when they saw... <laughs> wow, they're all chasing him. Oh, th I hope... They don't mistakenly see them. Oh no, they're pretty far. Ooh. Stay together. Oh no. Oh my gosh, if they if they go No way. Yeah, okay. Yeah way. Oh no. He can smell them. They f oh sh! What are they gonna do? Outrun them? <laughs> There's no way. This way. 
Look how- look at the difference of speed. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did nothing. Oh. <laughs> you fools. Are those elves? No, what is- Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Gandalf, where are we? You can feel it. Yes. Mm. It feels like, well, like magic. That's exactly what it is. A very powerful magic. Hmm. That's interesting. Why, why, why can Bilbo feel it? I'm assuming they can't, but Bilbo can? It's Rivendell. Right? It's Rivendell? The Valley of Imlad. In the common tongue, it's known by another name. Rivendell. <laughs> this was your plan all along. To seek refuge with our enemy. I forgot that's why he was upset. Is here. I think I think this was answered before, but what's the difference between a normal hobbit and a toque? I think it was answered in the last couple of movies of the Lord of the Rings, but I think it's one of the things that I did forget because I know some of you were mentioning how Smeagol was also a sort of different hobbit, but what's specifically a toque? A toque, I think? Because that's what Gandalf was, that's what he called Bilbo. So now I kind of question it only because this specific part that I ended with is he can feel the magic and I don't know if that has anything to do with the type of hobbit that he is, but I know obviously that he was chosen by Gandalf specifically for that. But now I'm kind of questioning it. Um, I think that's like one question I have right now. I think one of the things that I like is that I'm not really someone who likes watching, I guess you could say like war stuff, but now I really do. But I think it's also the part that that makes it more emotional, especially because we know that Tolkien's work was connected to that specifically. So it makes it more so uh, in that way, I guess, emotional, which I don't know if that's the reason why I like it, but even just watching it, it it's like a, it's, there's so much behind the thought of the war actually happening, especially the part with the king. Okay, so that's, that's where we're at right now. The hard part is that now I feel, I don't know if you guys remember, if you guys watched the part one to Lord of the Rings, um, when I watch Fellowship of the Ring, it feels almost the exact same when I watch this movie because I know I know barely like a couple characters that played back in Lord of the Rings, but everything else, oh, including like Middle Earth and some places, but everything else that they're inputting into uh, the characters and enemies and places and creatures, um, except the orcs, there's like very minimal things that I remember, but besides that, there's so much stuff also to take in. So I, 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 I'm feeling that a little bit of frustration of having to kind of intake all that information but i'm gonna keep going keep going and then i'm sure it'll 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 get simpler the more i watch it but yeah as of right now they have gone to rivendell and it's kind of interesting to see about the whole past holding thing that he speaks that he speaks to don't know his name but the prince as of right now or one who will be soon called cute i have no idea and one more question, just to be clear, they are going off to fight a dragon specifically, right? I think the whole table thing that was happening at Bilbo's house kind of confused me a little bit. But when they were speaking of the contract, I just want to make sure. But I guess we're also going to find out in part two. So I guess that makes sense. Anyway, so that was part one of The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Um, I'll see you guys in, in part two. And thanks. Thanks for watching. I think that's all the questions that I had so far. Make sure to eat, make sure to rest, make sure to stay hydrated. I'll see you in part dos.